Good morning, I just woke up. Welcome to my productive kind of working from home morning routine. Obviously, I've been working from home for a very long time. So I wanted to show you guys what I do to have a nice productive morning routine. A few things have changed, obviously, with recent events. Um, I wake up a little bit later because I have less to do throughout the day. This light! I have less to do throughout the day, so I wake up a little bit later. Um, normally I have to be at my workout class by like 6.37. I'm not really waking up right now until 6.45, 7.30. And I have less to do throughout the day. So it's just like a little bit more chill, but it still is productive. So this is what I do. If you guys are starting a morning routine, I really recommend you just get a pen and a paper and you write down four things you want to do that morning. Just four things you want to implement in your routine and you can add more as it goes. Um, this is just kind of what I've been doing. Comment down below the four things that you guys want to do in your morning routine. Love you guys so much, and let's get started. All right, go downstairs. All right, well, I'm taking to go outside. Normally, we go on a little walk, but it's raining out. So now that the queen is done, I can go to my own things. All right, so I changed into my workout outfit. I am not a huge workout from home sort of gal, but obviously these are all the options right now. So I do like, I'll show you guys when I get downstairs. I'll show you what I'm wearing first. Um, I have this Nike sports bra. I love Nike sports bras. Fun fact, you can always get them for like $12 at Nordstrom Rack. Lululemon, Wonder Unders, and then, yeah, that's it for my outfit. Um, I'm gonna go work out downstairs. Okay, I just got one of those black Lululemon yoga mats. Right now, I'm using this one that was sent to me as a gift, like, randomly. So I just have this little mat. Coco is eating breakfast. I'm going to work out from watching videos on my iPad. So I've showed this before when I was in Texas last summer doing workouts, but if I am doing an at-home workout, I will just look at this YouTube channel. It's the owner of Hot Pilates, and she teaches Shannon. She's the best. So... I am just going to take some classes basically via video. Do not underestimate what an at-home workout can do because you will actually be dying after. I'm gonna do a new one that she just posted, but anyways, that's the YouTube channel. Get hot with Shannon. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna watch. lit some candles for a nice atmosphere and vibe in the house so typically during this i'll play a podcast throughout the house um currently i think i'm going to listen to surprise surprise okay sis i do listen to other podcasts besides the three that i show you just for some reason the days that i film are always the days they have new episodes so i'm gonna connect this to my amazon and play there are a billion benefits of celery, um, so I'm not even going to go into that, but just trust me on this guy. Celery juice will change your life. Um, Lauren got me hooked. Normally, I will make a ton at a time, which is what I'm going to do this morning, and have them prepped for myself in these little Amazon bottles. I will have this linked to my Amazon shop page. This juicer is honestly really easy to clean and easy to use, and it was only like $45 on Amazon, you guys recommended it to me. So I'll have that link down below, and then these bottles are so worth it. They're just the best. So I'm going to, I normally just make three at a time. One bag of celery is one juice, so I'll make juice for myself this morning, and then juice for myself the next two days. I will normally just do it all at once. This is not something I do every single morning, just only if I need to make celery juice, and this happens to be one of those mornings. Okay, so here is one thing of celery. I'm gonna put it into a little bottle and then I just store it in the fridge. Oh, merch with Girl Gang the label. All right guys, so this is my green juice in the morning and then I just have these ready. It takes legit no time and honestly the longest process is cleaning the juicer, which this juicer isn't even bad to clean. I would definitely recommend it. But I drink this before I eat or drink anything for the day. Sometimes I'll drink it before I work out, whatever it is, but I'm gonna drink it right now and then I'm gonna go shower and get ready for the day. It seriously is just the best thing ever. Okay, so update on the taste, everyone. I actually don't even mind it anymore. 
Like I used to think it was so gross and I can just drink it no problem. So anyways, great, great little habit to kind of put in your morning routine. All right, so I got out of the shower. I'm gonna use my Whey leave-in conditioner. I've really been liking this. I miss my Whey um, hair oil. That was the best thing I've ever used for my hair ever and I left it in LA. I got the Olaplex one and it just doesn't do anything in comparison. So anyways, I'm gonna brush out my hair. I changed into a comfortable outfit. I'm not one of those people who will wear jeans to work from home, it's just like not happening. I'll just brush it out. Um, I let it air dry as much as possible. I very rarely even dry my hair, but if I don't have to put heat on it, I'm for sure not going to. So I'm just going to let it air dry this morning to keep it as healthy as possible. I still put on perfume and stuff, obviously. Um, I try to keep it like kind of as normal as possible. I'm someone who wears sweatsuits all the time anyways. I think you should definitely get fully dressed but i don't think it for me personally it doesn't have to be like a full overdone outfit i will do a really quick makeup routine i'm not someone who wears a ton of makeup anyways unless i'm like having fun kind of messing around with it but i'm going to just put on moisturizer mascara and do my brows and then i always have like a lip balm on that just makes me feel a little bit more awake and more put together i just got this moisturizer in the mail it's a charlotte tilbury moisturizer what is this called exactly the magic cream so, I know you guys can't really see me. Um, I really wanted to try this out. I try out new products a lot on the days that I'm staying at home, just because if I hate them, it's like not gonna make a big deal. Oh my gosh, it is so, it feels so good on your skin. My skin is pretty dry right now. So this cream is like amazing. It has a really, really thick consistency, but the skin texture on my face is like weird right now. And just not super moisturized, especially because like tanners dry out your skin and I got an airbrush tan like six days ago and it's coming off now so it's going to be very dry. There will be some days if I'm filming where I'm going to put on a lot more makeup but I'm just editing today so why waste the makeup, you know? Okay, I'm also going to try the Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, great. I'm also going to try the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. Um, and see how I like it. All right, so my face is so much lighter than my body right now, which is okay. So I just put on that mascara. I feel like I would like the mascara more if I curled my eyelashes first, which I didn't. And then I brushed out my brows with brow gel. Um, and I put on my favorite lip product, which you guys know is this. This is the best thing ever. If you guys do anything from this video or buy anything, buy this. So this is my work from home outfit. Um, I don't think it really, for me, matters what I wear. I feel like maybe when I was younger, I tried to actually dress up. But now this is kind of just what I wear every day anyways. So, I normally would just wear sweats, something comfy. I'm just not going to wear jeans in my house. Like, just absolutely not happening. The main thing, though, is, like, do not wear your pajamas. <laughs> like, whatever you do, do not wear what you slept in. You need to shower, get ready in the morning, and then kind of, like, it's, like, a new day. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, this shirt is from Boohoo. These sweats are talentless, and then I am wearing just like my normal jewelry. I also typically wear slippers, they're downstairs. Um, I'm kind of over my Ugg slippers, not Ugg slippers as a whole, but the strappy ones that I have and not the classic. Um, so I ordered new cute ones that are like crisscross, and they're not even Ugg. If you guys know me, you know I love Ugg slippers. I love Ugg slippers, but I'm kind of over my gray ones because I've worn them every day for, I got them last summer, so for a while. My new slippers come next week, which these are the things I get excited about, guys. I have not finished my office yet. Um, that furniture comes next week. So I've just been working here, which has worked for the time being and has been totally fine. Like working at your kitchen table really works. Honestly, even with an office, I work at my kitchen table so often. Um, if you can, just whatever you do, don't work from your bed. That's the biggest thing. Try not to even work from a couch. I still do that a lot, or I have really since moving into this house and not having my office set up. Um, but yeah, obviously not home office is like so not necessary, but the other thing is to just make sure that your house has a very nice welcoming vibe, like a place that you want to be in. It's not depressing and awful, you know, because you're stuck inside doing work and you don't want to, it's just not what you want. So I have a lot of candlelights lit. I always play like Nora Jones or Frank Sinatra, play a lot of jazz. 
Um, I'll just place things that kind of make me happy. So I start off my day on a good foot. So as you guys can see, the house is like cleaned and ready. I have my juicer stuff out here drying, but I made that like 20 minutes ago. So this is when I make coffee. I'm really starting to get tired. So I have this ready. All right, so my coffee is almost done. I'm gonna go back to playing my podcast. But for breakfast, I'm going to make some almond butter toast with bananas and honey and then just some eggs. This is kind of one of my go-to breakfast besides avocado toast, oatmeal. Um, yeah, but this is like the most filling and I just really love this on days that I have a little bit more time. Not for this takes a long time, but normally my breakfasts are either pre-made or take like one second. Have that freedom. And that is something I do not have today. It would be such a crazy time. Ask my mom for how we're always going to be on the trips, but you got all the those are my two mood boosts. Alright guys, I made my breakfast and while I eat my breakfast, I typically do my morning Devo reading. Sometimes this is 15 minutes, sometimes this is an hour and a half, it just depends on the day. But, I've been reading New Morning Mercies as you guys know, this is nothing new, so this is just kind of my routine for doing this. Okay, so I'm now at my kitchen table, ready to work. It's 10 and I'm going to edit, I think like five or six videos today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this morning routine and I hope you found these tips helpful. In times, especially, especially in the current landscape of our world, I think routines are really important because it just kind of keeps like one thing normal. So I am going to, oh my gosh guys, you know what we should do? Brilliant idea. Guys, I have a great idea. I am posting a photo set of my like work from home morning routine and I wanna see all of your morning routines. So if you guys watch this video, um, post like a cute little work from home morning routine thing you guys will see on my Instagram with all the photos that I'm posting and then tag me so I can see your morning routines. Um, I love you guys so much. As always, I feel like I have to mention this in every video. I know this is such a hard time for people and I love you guys. And I think as a community, we really need to kind of band together. If there's any way that anyone can be of any service or any help to you, I think like reach out, just like let's talk in the groups and just keep it kind of like we can keep it confidential in the groups. But um, yeah, I think as a community, we're here to help each other and I love you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed this productive morning routine. But I hope you guys have the best day ever and feel very productive and like you have a great workspace, light some candles, play some music. I have loops normally on my TV. I'll put on like a Bethel worship loop or something like that. But love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.